Meanwhile, the pain after war can sometimes be unbearable. One man who knows that pain all too well found a way to help himself by helping others. News 3's Mercer Van Shore shares the story of one soldier who's helping others cope with life after war. Mercer? Well, Phil and Cassandra, it's amazing what a little time on a ranch with one of these horses can do for your spirit. According to Sam Rhodes with Warrior Outreach, it's part of what saved his life and is now saving others who are struggling with PTSD. The sunshine right there hiding. Sunshine. Sam Rhodes shares his love of horses and living on a ranch. Focus most of my energy just trying to enjoy life. Life hasn't always been happy for Rhodes. After serving 30 months, three tours in Iraq, Rhodes suffered from PTSD. Sitting in a vehicle in April 20, 2007 with a gun in the car and going to kill myself. Rhodes says he found the support he needed from his brothers in the military and in his recovery found a love for horses. Now he wants to offer both to other soldiers through the warrior outreach. The challenges with our society and the war is that sometimes you come back you have an empty feeling, you know, and I had that feeling. Anyone can come to his ranch in Harris County to enjoy the horses and atmosphere. Anthony Robb is ready to retire after 20 years in the Army. He volunteers and says he loves seeing how this ranch helps to transform people. It, I have seen others come out here and you can tell it really helps them. The, you know, good people come out here and it's good to surround yourself with good people. Rhodes also repairs homes for veterans and everyone who helps does it free of charge. There's other Sam Rhodes out there that really need somebody to help them and, and I, I want to be that, that uh, person for them. And Rhodes has written a book about PTSD called Challenging the Military Culture of Science. And he was one of the top enlisted officers to come out with his struggles with PTSD. And this ranch isn't just for officers and military, is it, Phil? You've, no. He's actually been there. Yeah, we were there and talked to Sam and, and the lady that I spoke with, not military background at all, but mm -hmm. she had lost a child. And she found that this horse therapy, if you will, was meaningful and helpful to her. And Sam opens his doors to anyone that you know fits the category of feeling like that this would be some type of therapy that they would benefit from. Incredible place. It, it really is a great guy. Right. Majestic creatures and there's there's just peace for some reason yeah. that comes with the horse. Mm -hmm. Don't know why. Exactly right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Mercer. Thank you, Mercer. Social media can